IRA literally does absolutely nothing. Okay, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to be vlogging a typical day in my life when I don't have to go to work later. Um, you might think it's like crazy, but it's not. Um, I use my days off as a way to get productive stuff done for myself that I feel like I can't do when I'm working. Um, so, right now, I'm on my way to go work out. I'm, you guys already know by now what my workouts consist of. Also, I'm so annoyed. Now, I said in my last vlog that I started ordering like iced chais with oat milk and brown sugar syrup because I saw it on TikTok and it's so good. Well, my Starbucks near my house has been out of oat milk for like four days. And then I checked today and they're out of oat milk and brown sugar syrup. I'm like, I'm like, are you really though? Or you just don't want to make the fucking drink? Also, I barely had any coffee left at home, so this is how much coffee I get to drink today. Yay! So, editing me is here. I actually put in a clip that was supposed to be right here where basically I was telling you guys that there was this creepy old man staring at me and, like, literally, I, like, walked past him to the point where, like, we're past each other and he's still turning and looking at me and stopping. So, but you couldn't hear it because the wind was really loud, but that's what I said here. I don't remember if I told you guys, but it's literally so cold. It's like windy and cold. And I'm like, mm, I'm just not feeling it today. Did you hear the water? Okay, so I just finished my walk. I did like two miles because I said I wasn't feeling it. But the story I told you about the guy who was staring at me. Well, I came back to the top of the beach again. And we were about to like cross paths with each other again and I was like fuck no like I'm not doing this sh look at my hair I was like no I'm not fucking passing this man again so I like completely went off the trail and walked like in the parking lot and the second that I walked off and like tried to basically hide from him he literally did the same thing so like here's me walking past and then okay here's me walking past and we're past each other and then it's like hello like looking back at me that was like the worst explanation ever but like literally literally stop like just stop so I got home from my run walk whatever like an hour ago maybe and I showered and now we're gonna go to Target yay I was under the impression it's Wednesday apparently it's Thursday today okay so I just left Target I'm like not having a good Warning, I'm like not having a good day so far. Um, it's just like the vibes are off, you know But I only got like the stuff I really needed Unfortunately, I needed more Exfoliator um, I really like the tree hut sugar scrubs. This is their shea sugar scrub and exotic bloom I don't know, you know These like recently on tiktok became like all the hype. I'm like, um I used to buy these all the fucking time when I was like 13 years old shopping at fucking Walmart with my mom. Like, y'all are late as hell. Late. And then, um, okay, this one, did I technically need it? This one specifically, no. But I wanted something like super hydrating, like a leave-in hydrating thing, and I just could not find anything at Target. So I got the Hask Spray. I've tried their shampoo before, and I really like their shampoos, so... I thought maybe I'd like that and then I got black nail polish I have black nail polish at home but it like went bad and then I got a new bathroom rug and that is all that I got from Target and I also realized that I have to go to the pet store and get dog food because I don't even know if there's enough for freaking their dinner tonight and I'm gonna work all day, Friday, Saturday. I'm not gonna have time to do it then and we'll definitely be out by then. So, gotta do that even though it's the last thing I wanna do. Yay. 
me using the bathroom as a freaking hood. Hey guys, is it focused? I am driving back home now. I was just at my parents' house. It actually made my day better. I thought I was gonna be in a really bad mood there because I told you guys earlier I was in a bad mood, but, oh yeah, Paris is with me by the way. But weirdly enough, I was not. Um, I was in a really good mood. Fuck you for getting so close to me by the way. Okay, so. I am back home now and I had two packages delivered to my parents house so I'll show you guys what I got the first package is from DoorDash second package is from Victoria's Secret I was debating or not because I ordered a bunch of bras and underwear and I was debating showing you guys them or not and I was like oh I don't know creeps might be watching but I think the creeps are all gone at this point DoorDash first so I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. I'm trying to be a DoorDasher for a week. Um, it sounded like an interesting video idea for me to be like, oh, this is what it's like being a DoorDasher. So they sent me this package. Um, So, first, so they have like a DoorDash like bread card. I I guess they said it, they were going to be sending it to me to like pay for DoorDash orders and you can pay through them for this card, but I work at a restaurant and I've never ever seen a DoorDasher come in and use that before. And oh my gosh, they sent me a mask. Oh, 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 okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, DoorDash, okay. Okay, hello. Uh, oh my god, hello. Wait, this is so cute and sweet. It fits perfect, as you can tell. That's pretty cool, honestly. Okay. And then, oh, he sent me hand sanitizer. And then lastly, sent me a DoorDash hot bag or cold bag, either or. Pretty cool, I'll throw these in here. DoorDash alert, oh my God, I'm a DoorDasher. This lighting is so bad, I'm sorry. Okay, then from Victoria's Secret, let me show you guys. Uh, what the hell are these? These look like grandma panties. Okay, I don't remember that. So, I got two bras. The first one, okay. Oh, okay, no, actually that looks like it'll fit me. This is the first one that I got. It's just black. It's there. I don't know which one because they have like different ones depending on like push-up. I don't think these are push-up at all. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, my boobs look like a little too much. Oh, and then these ones are, okay, so I got one that didn't have any push-up in it and I, then I got one that was really push-up. Um, this looks like a gigantic bra because the padding is just so much. <laughs> yay it's like literally night and day like this one can you guys see like it's literally nothing this one can you see the depth like my nipples are gonna pop out for sure okay now let's start unboxing the underwear they had their deal going on the seven for 35 which is what i did i got seven and then i noticed that i had like a refund onto my card 
from Victoria's Secret, but then I also had another charge and I was like, what? So I checked my email and I saw that they had ran out of one of the underwears that I chose. So they refunded me that, but then because they didn't have that, then I didn't do seven for 35. Then I got charged more and I was like, oh, okay. Like kind of bad customer service. Like if it's, if it says it's on in stock on your website and then it's not, I don't think like, that's like not my issue. Like I should still get the deal. Like you shouldn't be charging me more. But anyways, this one's like not very cute and it's really big. I'm so confused. It's a medium, but like it looks really big to me. Okay. The next one, shit, should I have ordered smalls? I feel sad. just looks so big but then this one it's like a polka dot pattern I got shit why did they look so big well they're gonna have to work maybe I'll just gain some weight and become a medium you know what you know why I ordered mediums because I always remember Victoria's Secret being really small like my cooch hanging out but these are big then I got these ones. I don't know. I wanted to do like a different color. And then of course I had to get red because I mean red. And then these ones, they look cute. These ones. Oh, I forgot. It's like a G-string. But look how cute. Like the what the hell is this? This literally looks like a jock strap. It's like the light pink, whatever. So yeah, that's what I got from Victoria's Secret. Anyways, we made a pot roast. I'll go downstairs and show you guys it and I'm gonna have some for dinner. Oh my God, how good does it look? It has broccoli, baby corn, carrots, potatoes, all the good stuff. I've literally been looking forward to this all day. The bowl is like hot as hell, it's so good. It has like celery, baby corn, potato, broccoli, carrot. I don't know if I said that. Mm. And the freaking meat is so good. It's like a chuck roast, I think that's what it's called. Mmm really good sorry I'm just like eating I don't know why people don't make pot roast more it's so cheap to make and it's so good and you can make it in like giant batches mm. well I'm gonna eat this and enjoy this I'll see you guys in a little bit I just like can't I need more like I can't <laughs> I'm about to take a bath. Who is this person and do you even pay rent? Okay guys, so it's like an hour later probably. I, that pot roast was, I'm in the bath by the way. Um, that pot roast was so good. I used to see like, I see these videos all the time actually where it's like, oh, when you walk in and you see the crock pots on the counter because you're having pot roast. I'm like, I used to feel that way as a kid too, but like, I feel like Maybe my mom just like didn't make it the best, but like I'm like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. So right now I'm in the bath. POV the bathtub. POV? POV the bathtub. Um so this is like how I can okay, focus. So this is like the beginning of the end of my night, if that makes sense. Um I take a bath every night. I'm so sorry to the 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 environment, the economy, everything, but I take baths every night. And um this is like the one thing I can do every single night that's just like like this is the only <laughs> sounds so sad. This is like the only thing I can like look forward to to really calm myself down at the end of the night. Okay, like it's just, it's all I can do. I sit in here and I have my alone time. And then when I get out of the bath, I'm gonna take you guys through like a little bit of like my night routine and kind of how like 
I set myself up for success for the next morning. So that's all for this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching and I would say if you want to see more let me know but I'm gonna make them anyways so bye! <laughs>